Hi there, welcome again. This is a, um, a video that's one of a series of 10, so please make sure you subscribe so that you uh, don't miss any of the others. Um, actually, this is the 11th, because this is the introduction to the series of 10, so there's, there's 11. I just thought of that. This video is about why IT people tell you to turn it off and on again. If I was on the receiving end of a, can you try turning it off and on again? It's usually the thing that infuriates people the most. So I just wanted to explain why it is that people say that. Why technical st staff always say, have you tried turning it off and on again? Because it actually, it actually makes a lot of sense. So, so that's what we're going to do in this video. But first, let me tell you about the series of 10 videos that are following on from this that you need to subscribe to to make sure you don't miss. Those things are 10 things that you can do to speed up a PC. Or, or a Mac, so I, I, I want to be clear about that, we're going to be talking about both. In this video, video number one or video number 11, whichever way you want to look at it, let's talk about why people are, are, ask you to turn it off and on again. So here's the answer. You turn it off and on again to clear the memory of all the applications that hang. Now let's first qualify this by saying, uh, if you've got an application that's hung, uh, that's usually, on a Mac you'll see the bouncing beach ball of doom, or on a PC it's like the, the I don't know, what, what I would term that as, the spinning wheel of intrigue <laughs> on a PC. You know what I'm talking about, the little green bluey wheel thing that just goes around and doesn't do anything. Let's assume that it's not an application that's hung, because that's easy to get out of. There are system, the system software that also hangs. And that is harder to find. You can find it with the task manager or the activity monitor on a Mac. And, and you, can, you can find those services and you can close down the ones that are no longer running. But you know what? By the time you've gone through all of that and you've, you've tried to work out which services is, is what, it's just easier if you just shut down and restart the machine. Then if you've still got a problem after it's come back up, then it's likely that a piece of software or hardware is in trouble. And that's the point you need to call your IT support people. So I'm not trying to get you to not call IT support. If, you, if you're stuck, call them. That's what they're for. Or call us. <laughs> that's what we're for. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, I want you to know that there is a genuine reason for restarting the machine. And, 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 and not just machines, but also routers. Let's say the internet goes off and you shut down the router, you turn the router off and on again. What does that actually do? Well, the software running on the router that has basically tripped over itself and it's stuck and it's caught in a loop. Turning the power off from the router kills the, kills the software that's running on there. When you turn the power back on, it reloads the software and the software runs along quite happily. That's why we tell you to turn it off and on again. Can I just put one little caveat on, because we're also an internet service provider, so a little bit of inside information for you here. If you, if you uh, turn off a router because your internet connection has stopped, uh, you might need to leave it off for up to 10 minutes. And that's because the, the session from, the, there's two sides to the router, to the internet connection. There's your router that's making the outbound connection to your internet service provider. The internet service provider keeps the session alive between your, your router and, and them. And if the router suddenly disappears, it still keeps trying that session. After no, no more than six or eight minutes, that it will give up on that and it will drop the session. So then when the router comes back up, it reestablishes a new session, which is likely to be problem free. That's why if you're turning your router off and on for your broadband, I recommend leaving it for 10 minutes because that way you're absolutely sure the session at the other end has been killed and when you turn it back on again, it should reestablish. When the guy tells you turn it off and on again, you can say, look, mate, I've already tried that. But can I just say one other thing? because this is supposed to be a short video, I want to make this really, really quick. A couple of times, people have said to us, yeah, 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 I've already done that, when they hadn't. We've then spent 45 minutes trying to work it out, because we're going on the assumption they're telling us the truth. They've shut down their computer and they've restarted it. They haven't just turned the monitor on and off, right? They've actually done a start, shut down, restart, turn off the machine, 
turned it back on again. We've gone under that assumption, believing them at their word. You know, that, yeah, I've already tried that, mate. <laughs> and then after 45 minutes, we say, look, all we, can, all we can ask you to do now is to try restarting it again. They restart it that time because we're actually on the phone talking them through the process and then it comes back up, oh, yeah, 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 that's it, it's fixed. It's like, yeah, wish you'd done that 45 minutes ago. So please make sure you do shut down, restart the machine. Don't just put it into, don't just shut the lid on a laptop and think that's shut down. Do a shut down, restart that way You've rebuilt, you're reloading all the applications from scratch. And if that process takes too long to happen, then you need to talk to us because we can, well, or watch, watch the 10 videos that follow on. So make sure you subscribe, watch these 10 videos. If your PC is too slow to start up or just generally too slow, these next 10 videos are gonna, uh, are gonna be what you need. So we're gonna be making them over the next few days. So subscribe to the channel, that way you won't miss any. And, uh, and we'll see you again real soon. For now, that's all I've got time for. This wanted to be, I wanted this to be a real quick one. Um, all that's left for me to say is thanks for taking the time to watch.